What's going on, YouTube? From time to time, we get people that come into our streams and they ask, hey, what's a good gun to use for hardcore? Well, today we're gonna show you just that. We have four class setups that we're gonna show you. Two of mine and then two of Danielle's. So let's jump into it. So for me, my first class setup is gonna be my running gun class setup. Now, you guys see my gameplay. I like to rush around a lot. I like to get place fast. Um, I like to beat people to spots that they don't know I can beat them to. Well, this is that class for that. All of my classes consist of pretty much the same perks and lethals, tacticals, all that stuff. So the only thing that really changes is the gun and the attachments. Now, for all of my rush classes, I run double time, restock, and shrapnel. I also run a Semtex and I run stims. That way I can stim rush and get there faster. For my rush class, what I usually run is an Uzi. Now, a lot of people say, oh, why the Uzi? Why not the MP7 or why the MP5? I love this gun. This gun has grown on me so much. And I think guys, honestly, if you use it, you'll love it too. So these are the attachments that I run on my Uzi. I run the monolithic suppressor. I run the FSS carbine pro barrel, which is the last barrel that you actually have to unlock doing some challenges. I run Merc foregrip the 41 AE 32 round mag, which is also an unlock that you have to do. And then stippled grip tape for just a little bit more pull up speed. Now, this gun has very little to no recoil. It does sh have a little bit of a different recoil pattern as it, the fire rate is a little strange on it, but it does shoot straight. It gets kills fairly easy and it's one of my favorite guns to use in hardcore. So that's my SMG build. From there, we go on to my AR build, and my AR consists of pretty much the same. Um, I am a little bit slower with this class, so I do take off double time. I actually run EOD, restock, and shrapnel. And when I'm running this class, I like to run Semtexes. Every now and then I'll run frags, uh, depending on the map, obviously. But I pretty much always run stim shots because stim shots work for double time, they reset double time, and they reset EOD. So even for hardcore players, stim shot is like one of the best uh, tacticals you can use in the game. As far as the gun itself, I use Compensator, the 20 inch barrel, Commando foregrip, and then this one's right behind my camera unfortunately, but I run FMJ on this as well to have that little bit extra bullet penetration through walls because this is a 7.62 weapon. Um, and then this one I change out depending on how the day is going. Um, if I need a little bit more recoil control, what I'll do is I'll put on rubberized grip tape. If I'm feeling my recoil is just fine that day, uh, I'll put on ADS speed for the stipple grip tape. Um, depending on the map, I may actually run a sight, so I may take off the grip tape altogether. And usually the sight I'll run is the thermal optic, the thermal hybrid. Now, I use this on maps like Grozna Raid or Piccadilly, stuff like that. Stuff that's kind of long range and it's kind of gray. That way it, it illuminates people a little bit more. And I know everybody hates thermals, but it is what it is. You use it, I use it, everybody uses it. It's fine, get over it. But anyways, so those are my two class setups. Let's go over to Danielle's. All right, so this is my Galil class. It's this game's version of the Galil. It's CR56. Um, I run it with Cali sticks because they're the fastest running melees. And I like to rush to the middle and then get all the kills. All the kills. I run that with EOD, restock, and shrapnel. I pretty much run this setup on all my classes, and I will only change shrapnel if the enemy team is running too many spotter nades. I'll change that to battle hardened. And then for my lethal, I run a frag grenade because I, I like bouncing the grenades and getting those lucky bounces and stuff like that. And then a stem shot to refresh the EOD, so as soon as I get blown up by a grenade, stem shot, and I have another two hits with e uh, EOD before I die. So it takes three grenades to kill me instead of two. Suck it! On my actual CR, I prefer a sight. I feel like it makes me more accurate. A lot of people don't do sights, and if you don't do a sight, you can change it to a stock. And this would be the stock that you would choose, the close quarters one, because it helps with the ADS speed, especially since I rush to the middle. Uh, but for me, I like the sight. I put on the Zodiac barrel, the monolithic suppressor, because it stops me from being heard or gunshots and everybody whips their head to me. Rear grip tape, or the stippled grip tape, uh, and the commando foregrip. 
So that's my CR. It's amazing. If you watch our streams or any of our other YouTube videos, you'll probably see me run this gun quite often. It is my favorite and I am almost to obsidian on it, so. And then my number two class setup that I, I'll change to if I'm if I'm desperate to get in there and get some kills a little bit faster or if I pop some dead silence and run to their spawn real fast, I will uh, change it to my MP5. This, uh, I named this class my Yas MP5. <laughs> and for me, I have the FTAC collapsible stock on it. Um, I actually switch on and off for, between the laser and a sight. Like I said, the sight makes me a little bit more accurate, I feel like. Um, but on this one, I like the iron sights just a little bit better than every other iron sight. I'm, I'm weird. The FFS, I'm sorry, FSS light barrel. A Merc foregrip and stippled grip tape for the rear grip. Again with the Cali sticks, same perks, same frag, and same stem. So those are my two weapons. Give them a shot. Let me know what you think. I have other ones in here. A lot of this stuff has been adjusted to run with a random class generator. But try these classes out. Let us know what you think in the comments. Back to you, Bob. Wait. Who's Bob? And whatever. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. If you guys are new, make sure to click the subscribe button with the little bell notification. Do a little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, we hope you have a great day.